Alright, so our first lesson is going to be about window essentials and the basic tools of Photoshop. For our window essentials, you go up to window in your top menu and you see all these options. And what these are, are these options on the side over here. And you're going to want to make your window approximately like mine just so it's easier to follow along throughout these tutorials. So you want your bottom to have layers, channels, and paths. So to get these, you go up to your window, you click, let's just say I wanted color. You click the one you want, and then it'll pop up under here. So you go to window, and then you can, you can click tool presets. A box will pop up right here and then you can choose the one you want so let's say this was one of the ones over here let's say this is history you just drag it into here and add it to there and now you have it nested in there so I don't want that on mine so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that by clicking the X on it and so you're gonna want to have swatches color and styles up here then the next row down you're gonna wanna have history that's a very important one adjustments and masks and then the last one you're gonna to wanna to have layers channels and paths so once you get those all set up I'll show you the basic tools of Photoshop so let's open a new window you go to file new and I'll just keep it untitled for the sake of this tutorial so Actually, you know what? I'm going to show you guys how to open a file because I'm going to assume you don't know anything about Photoshop when I'm making these. So you go to Open, File, Open, and then choose an image you want to open. And that's how you import an image into Photoshop. So then, this is the first project you guys will be doing and submitting, hopefully submitting to the Facebook page. And then we'll grade your guys' projects. So you open up image and you see that your layers you have a background layer and I'll teach you guys about layers in the next lesson but for now I'll just show you guys the basic tools so your move tool you can let's just create a new layer really quick and I'll show you what the move tool is so first off if you just if you didn't create a new layer and you just chose the background layer to draw on and you drew a bubble that said hi inside of that so now what if you want to move that bubble and you don't like the placement or you want to edit it and it's over something you can't grab the bubble because it's on the same layer as your bunny right here so to fix that we have layers so let's just go into our history tab and go back to where we started and create a new layer so, when I have my layer 1 selected, that's on top of the background layer, we can draw a speech bubble that says hi. And then you, we can use our move tool to move it anywhere we want. So that's one of the most useful things of Photoshop, but I'll go more in depth on layers in the, in the next lesson. So then, our next tool is a marquee. If you hold it down, you have all these options. So for now I'm just going to use the rectangular one. So if you're on your background layer and or let's just say you're on your layer 1, you can draw drag and drop a marquee and then use your paintbrush tool and if you try to paint, you'll only paint inside the marquee, which is very useful. And the other option you can do is just delete whatever is in the marquee. So, if you made a marquee on top of this, and you're on your you're on your speech bubble layer, and you click delete, you'll delete what's ever in that layer on that marquee. And then you can go ahead and move this around with your move tool again. Now for the quick selection tool and the magic wand, I'll show you the magic wand really quick. This is just, 
it selects all the colors that are available in that picture. So if you have red on this layer, and then you have, let's just say, green on this layer also, then if you use your quick selection tool and you select the red, let's see, you need to boost up the tolerance to about 50 maybe, and you click the red, then it selects all the red that's until it gets cut off. And then if you go back and you uncheck contigu contiguous up here, then it'll select all the red on the entire layer. So if you click that, it selects all the red on the entire layer. And then you could go through with like blue and draw inside of just what's selected. So some pretty useful stuff. And we'll go over cloning later after our first project, which will be the color bunny. And the eraser is pretty self-explanatory. It erases what's ever inside that. You could change the size, make it bigger. And the gradient tool is a it's like a paint bucket, but it fades into the colors that you specify up here. But that's for another lesson, so we'll go over that. But when you drag it, it'll make gradients like this. So it's a lot, it saves you a lot of work, and it looks really good. So then the pen tool we'll go over in another lesson. The type tool is really useful. If you, let's go ahead and deselect that, which is Control D or Command D on a Mac and you use your text tool, you could type hi. And then up here in the options, you'll have all these different sample fonts, and you could download your own fonts from the internet later. I'll probably show you how to do that. And you could change the font size like a normal text editor. So then you have your high layer in the layers palette, and you could drag it around. All right, and then you can just go to your supply. Huh, it's pretty embedded in there or something. All right. Yeah, there you go. Now you can drag it around. And then we go to our pointer tool, which is, these are for your pen tool, and we'll go over those later, as I said. Your hand tool, that's just the, pretty much the same as this. Um, and your magnifying glass, which is one of the better things you'll use in Photoshop. With the magnifying glass in CS5, you just drag, you click on the object you want and drag into it. And you could also do the same with dragging out. Drag in, drag out. Pretty simple. And those are the basic tools of Photoshop. So for the next lesson, I'll be going over layers in depth to really show you guys what you can do with them. And then right after that, we'll get started on our first project. So make sure that you have your windows set up like this for the future tutorials. And you'll probably end up using these on your own time also because they're really good to use. They're some of the most basic things you'll use in Photoshop. So. That's basically it. Here are the basic tools on the side. Your swatches palette at the bottom. Change your color. Your paintbrush. Clone stamp. And yeah, we'll go over layers in the next lesson.